This is amazing. Now we are going to see about NVIDIA AI Workbench. This will increase your productivity if you want to run a model or fine tune a model on a large scale. Imagine you are creating your AI application or fine tuning a model in your local environment and the configuration is limited. That means you can't fine tune a large model. To do that, you're going to introduce some new system such as RTX 4090, A6000, which is going to be in the cloud. So if you want to migrate from local to cloud, this takes a lot of time of copying the code, configuring the environment and running the model. How can I replicate the same thing on a remote computer or multiple remote computer and still complete the task? That's when we have AI Workbench from NVIDIA. In this instance, I'm running my code on my local computer. And what if I want to run a larger model or to fine tune with more advanced spec? I can just go in here, open in, and then choose the computer I want to run this code. So this code will be automatically copied across to that machine with all the environment variables, and you can directly run your fine tuning. So focus on fine tuning rather than configuring your own computer. Let AI Workbench take care of that. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about NVIDIA AI Workbench. If you want to manually scale your application or replicate your application which is running on your computer, then you need to copy the code, install all the dependencies manually, and then configure your environment variables, and finally start the Jupyter server. But using NVIDIA AI Workbench, it is going to take care of copying the code, installing all the dependencies, adding the environment variables, and starting the Jupyter server to run your application or fine tuning. Not only that, when you have your code on multiple servers, it can all link to the Git version. So even if you make any changes in RTX 490 computer, you can push those changes to the Git repo. It's all taken care of. As you can see here, commit and fetch. In this, I'm going to show you a real example where a code on my local computer, which I'm going to scale to a larger server, and I don't need to do anything. AI Workbench automatically does it for me. I'm also going to take you through step by step on how you can create a remote virtual machine with GPU and connect it to your AI Workbench. So once after you connect that, you can easily deploy this code in that machine. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to use this tool so that you can focus on AI rather than setting up the server. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. Thanks to NVIDIA for sponsoring this video. So first step, you need to download NVIDIA AI Workbench by clicking the download button. I will put all the information in the description below. So as soon as you click that, it will be downloaded. You have support to other operating systems as well. First, I'm going to download on my Mac OS computer and install Workbench locally on my computer. Next, I'm going to set up a remote Ubuntu 22.04 on a cloud and then install Workbench there. Then we can integrate our local machine and the cloud together. On my Mac, I just need to drag it to this location. As soon as you open the AI Workbench application, you will have only the local. So these two I've already added. In our tutorial, I'm going to add one more. You need Docker as a prerequisite. So make sure you download Docker from docker.com. Now we are going to set up a remote machine. I'm going to set up a machine from Mast Compute. Here I'm going to use A6000, categories base, then Ubuntu Server 22. That's the bare minimal. Next, I'm going to click deploy. Now I can see it's initializing. So with this IP address, username and password, I'm going to log into the machine. Now SSH Ubuntu at and then the IP address. Then click enter. Now it will ask for authentication. I'm going to click yes. Then it's asking me the password. Copy the password from here, then pasting it and logging in. Now we are inside the machine. So the first step is to set up the SSH key and the second step is to install AI Workbench as we did it on your local computer. On your local computer, type SSH key gen with this tag and then provide your email address like this and then click enter. This will automatically create your SSH key in the .SSH folder. So navigate to the .SSH folder and click enter. You can copy the key just by typing cat id and the value and then .pub. Just type this and click enter 
then copy the value which you get in the screen. I've copied the public key and came into the Ubuntu server. Here I'm going to type nano.sh and authorized keys and click enter and paste it here. Next, click O to write and click X to exit. Now sudo nano etc sh shd underscore config and then click enter. Now the file will be opened. Here if you could navigate to the bottom, you can see pub key authentication is S. So you need to enable that. Just delete the comment and it is enabled. Now click Control O to write and Control X to save. That's it. Now we have completed setting up SH key. We just need to restart sudo systemctl, restart SHD. That's it. It's all done. This is just a one time setup. Now the second step is to install AI Workbench. You have a detailed documentation in NVIDIA Docs website about AI Workbench remotely on Ubuntu 22.04. So in there, I'm going to copy this command to install on Ubuntu and then going to come here to our server, paste it and then click enter. This is going to install the AI Workbench in Ubuntu. Welcome to NVIDIA AI Workbench. Accept and continue. Click enter. I'm going to use Podman. You can also use Docker if you want to. Then click enter. Then it's installing all the required packages as you can see here. Clicking enter. Now it's all done. Now we need to add that location in our AI Workbench. Click on the top right hand corner. There you got add location, manage locations. So if you go manage locations, there you can see I've already got two other location. I'm going to add one more. Add remote location. I'm going to say my third server and location name is my hyphen third hyphen server. Providing the IP address here, port number 22. The username is Ubuntu. Then this is the path of my private key. So in your case, this will be your username and this will be your path. After this, you can click add location and you can see my third location or third server got added. Now I can click this server and here it's asking start a new project or clone a project. I'm going to choose new project. I'm going to give a name, my AI workbench project and then click next. Now here it's giving me different packages. I'm going to choose PyTorch with CUDA, which means I can use the graphic card, which is A6000 and then click create. Now you can see my AI workbench is getting created with all the required files and you can see it's automatically installing all the required packages to set up this. Now I'm going to the environments variable. So clicking environments, there you can see all the information regarding the environment which we have just created. You can see the list of packages which got installed. We can even change this. We can add our own variables. In this case, I'm going to add hugging face token. So clicking add hf underscore token and then going to provide the value and click add. Now you can see the hugging face token got added. Here I just dragged and dropped a file called pallyjama ipynb just to run pallyjama model. By going to settings, integration, there you can integrate with GitHub or GitLab. You can add integration if you want to add your self-hosted GitLab and then click save. In this way, all this code will get saved in that repo. So I can even commit change here, added pallyjama. It automatically gave me that comment and clicking commit. And I'm going to click publish to git server. And it will ask if it's want to be a private or public. I'm going to choose private and click publish. Now, if I go to my Git repo, I can see that project just got created with the latest Pallyjama notebook, as you can see here. So ultimately, we are going to run this model on a more advanced computer because we don't have enough resource on my local machine. Our Jupyter Lab notebook is ready to run. So I can just click this button, open Jupyter Lab, and immediately all these files will be transferred to our third server, which we have just created. And here is our Jupyter server, which is running on the remote computer. I can click terminal and I can just type NVIDIA SMI and then click enter. And you can see the configuration, A6000, which we have just created. And you can see the project name, project my AI workbench project. And also you can see all the files got copied here with the pallyjama file. Now I'm going to open it, clicking the folder and opening Pallyjama. Now I'm all ready to run this notebook on a remote computer with extra GPU. I'm going to click run and run all cells. Now you can see it's running all the cells. And the ultimate thing is that it's using HF token. That is a secret key which we created in our own local AI workbench. This is going to automatically take that in. And if you scroll down, you can see it's login successful. 
which means the token which we created as a secret in our AI workbench worked here. And you can see all the things running as per the plan. So we are providing this image and asking you to predict what color is the flower that B is standing on. So this model Pali Gemma is going to predict the color of the flower. If I run this on my local machine, it's going to be very slow. Just because I used this AI workbench, I was able to deploy this on a remote computer quickly and able to find the answer quickly. And here is the answer. What color in the flower that B is standing on? Pink. So that is the response from the large language model and it was much quicker than running on my local computer. If you're training a model the same way, you can have a notebook and then choose a larger computer and all your configuration, all your setup will automatically copy it across and you can run the model quickly without focusing on the server configuration and focus on the fine tuning itself. So here on my local computer, I can monitor all those changes. I can fetch the latest updates from the remote server. Then I can click commit and those information which we have just modified and HF token will be committed and you can just push that'll get pushed to the remote private repo. Next, if I want much more advanced, I can even click open in and then choose whatever I want. I can even choose for RTX 490 and all the code will automatically clone to this. And with the click of a button, you can run the same code in RTX 4090 machine. You can see the cloning in progress, cloning complete, and all the file got copied to RTX 4090 as you can see here. Now here I can click open Jupyter Lab and provide the Hugging Face token and click continue. Now everything is automated. Now I'm in the RTX 4090 machine. Same like that, I can click the Pali Gemma notebook, uh, run all cells and this will run accordingly. As simple as that. This is going to speed up your deployment or even fine tuning process. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.